When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Absolutely, unequivocally, yes, is the answer. Now, here is the host of The Long Bearded Guy, the Chief Catalyst, Strategist Guide at Jewel International, Gordon D. Melville. Hey, everybody. Welcome to The Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. That's me on Inspired Choices Network. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, glad you're here. Thank you for spending some of your limited resources with me today. I really appreciate that. We've been, I, I, let's get after, I, I, I want to jump right in today. So we have been understanding and learning well, where our foundations come from, why we need to inspect them, what to look for, how they happened, how to fix them, where to go to fix them, what are the tools they're going to need. And today we have the last two of the six uh, steps in, in building which are construction and post-construction. So a very exciting, very, stick around. We're going to learn a bunch today. We're going to intentionally learn and grow. And so uh, I want to mention just real quick, uh, I've got another uh, phase one of Boxed Inside Out, my, my workshop that's coming in the beginning of September. We'll get into that some more later. Uh, come play in the chat room. If you're on with me today, uh, jump in the chat room. And then once you get in there, they will send you a link to get into my live studio audience. And Gabby's there. Thank you so much, Gabby, for being there. Uh, fellow Canadian, um, love you and appreciate you being here. So come and join, uh, it, download the, the Inspired Choices Network app anywhere you listen, love to listen to your favorite podcasts and radio. Um, you, can, you can find the download there. Get in, find my show uh, and, and jump on. Um, when, when you get into the chat, they'll offer you a link to be on in my live studio audience, which is awesome. So thank you so much. And, and uh, thank you to, to Christine and to the, or to the other hosts and all the people that, that make this work. Um, we're very excited that uh, I'm very excited. I think everybody's excited that we're now on more than 450 platforms globally. Uh, the long bearded guy is on more than 450 platforms um, all over the world. Uh, thank you, uh, Janessa, for joining. Thanks, hon. And, and Brian, thank you for being here. We're just so excited that that's here, that, that, we're, that we have that kind of reach. So we're blessed to have that. Um, okay, so in, in segment one is the construction phase. And if you, if you don't remember, um, this is the third in the installment. So this is the third show we've been talking about foundations. And we've been talking about where that comes from and how that got built inside of us and, and why we want to look at it. What happened to it? Over life, it got set up as children. And then over life, uh, those storms of life and the different things that happened to us, they, they, they rock our foundation or they crack it or they cause damage or they erode it. And so we need to inspect it regularly to make sure that it is what it's supposed to be, right? So that we don't get surprised when our basement fills up with water because it cracked and, and it lets stuff in. So we want to we wanna be able to look at those types of things. So the actual construct, if you don't, if you haven't seen the other two episodes, by all means, if you get into the ICN uh, uh, platform there, uh, scroll to find my, my icon, my ad, and then click on it, open it up. At the bottom of it, you'll see uh, shows and go down into the shows and watch the other two episodes to get the, the rest of the foundation um, segments to, so that you have a full, full grasp of what we're talking about, right? So in a construction phase, that's exciting too, right? We've done all this preparation. We've, we've procured all the things we need. We have all the stuff that we need. Now what? Now we're building the actual structure. We're building our life on top of that foundation, right? So having that, that solid, firm bedrock foundation underneath us as we build our life up is critical. And having it be stable and not shifting if we build on sand, it, it's going to shift. If we don't make sure that foundation is stable, it's going to move. And as, as the storms of life hit us and as things in life go through, it's going to, we're going to move and it's going to change us. And we're not going to be able to withstand that. So, and, and I, I've mentioned before, if you've watched the other episodes, you know, I put my foundation, Papa is my foundation. Um, I call God Papa because of my relationship with him, but that's my foundation. That's where I I, that's the bedrock because I know it won't ever move. 
And so I, I trust that I wouldn't be on the planet anymore if that wasn't there. If, if my foundation wasn't Papa, I would not be here anymore. Uh, and if you know my story, you'll understand why. And so, uh, but, but as I build the, the different, uh, the different um, levels of whatever it is, it's a house, it's a factory, it's a, it's, a, it's a mall, it's whatever the building is you're putting on the foundation. As you build it up, you can make it whatever you want it to be right? We can build that however we want it to be. As humans, we have the power. And whether you believe that or not is entirely up to you. But if you think you're right, or you're not right, you're also right. If you think you can or you can't, you're right. Right? So it, it, we, we want to make sure that we embrace that. We have the power to build it. And as you build your house, if you've ever built a house, or had one built for you or seen one built, when you look at the plans and then you, you look at the actual structure as it goes up and all the two by fours are there and you go, wow, you know what? That looks way smaller than I thought it was going to be. Uh, that's an optical illusion in, in construction. They say, no, no, that's, that's a, it looks smaller because of the way that the, it, it's an optical illusion. It, it, it's what I'm in life. What I'm getting at is in life. Sometimes we look at the structures we're building and the pieces of our life that we're building and we go, wow, I'm not enough. It's not big enough. It's not what it, I would like it to be. It's not what I dream of it being. Papa wants us to live abundantly. That means in every way, not just financially, in every way. So as I build my life the way I want it to be, however you define success, however, you, whatever you're using as inspiration to, to build that, it's built on a solid foundation and it's built as you go up, however you want it to be. Does that mean it's going to not change? No, it's always going to change, right? The, the one thing that never changes is that everything changes, right? It's, it's that everything changes. And as we build up, we add rooms and we put a library on because we start to read. And then we, we put on an, a, a gym because we, we want to exercise. And then we put, so it's always, always changing. The thing is, if you know anything about construction, as you build, that foundation still needs to be able to hold whatever the new pieces are. And that's why you want such a bedrock of foundation, because without that, you it may limit the ability to stretch out. It may limit your ability to build up and to add different bits and pieces to your life, right? You'll, you'll, we struggle. Why can I not get this piece added? Why am I struggling to build the library? Why am I struggling to, that, that doesn't make any sense. Why? Because, or, or we build it and it falls down. Why? Because the foundation won't hold it. So we wanna make sure that the foundation is firm underneath it all the security that that comes the peace of mind that that brings is is huge so wanting to build our life however it's supposed to be and however you define what that looks like for you that's that's a piece for you nobody else can tell you your journey is for you it's not for anybody else the rooms you want to add anybody else can look at your plan and go what the heck is that that doesn't make any sense well what, what is that right? But that's not up to them. That, that doesn't matter what their opinion is of your house, of your building, of your structure, of your life. Your opinion is the one that count, counts. And for me, even my opinion doesn't count. Papa's opinion counts because my opinion can get screwed, right? And, and it can change. And I can wake up some days and go, you know what? I don't feel like I'm enough or I'm not expanded the way I want to be. And Papa's like, no, no, you, you, you are enough and you're perfect in every way, just the way you are. You don't need anything else. And, and so his opinion of me is, is way more important to me. But, but at the end of the day, nobody can tell you what you're, you know, you walk, we walk by, and you've walked through uh, subdivisions or you've driven in, in big cities and you see architecture and you're like, what was the, that? What, what were they smoking when they designed that? And not just designed it, but built it. They looked at, no one looked at the, at the plans and went, this is bath. Like, what is that? But it's, it's personal taste, right? It's what they thought was a good thing at the time. And so that, that's up to them. And in this case, it's up to you.
it's up to us to build whatever we want our life to be. And, and that's something that's fiercely personal and is something that, that that journey wasn't meant for anybody else. That journey is meant for you. I'll say that again. Your journey isn't meant for anybody else. Your journey is meant for you. Nobody else can experience what you've experienced. That's why when, when we did Mo Mondays and, and I would say to the crowd when we had live crowd, how many have a story? And very few hands went up. And I would always look at everybody and go, yeah, <coughs> bullshit. Um, you all have a story, right? Whether you want to share it from stage or not, or publicly share it is a completely different story. But I, I, I challenge people, I'll challenge you. If, if, no matter what your story is, no matter what you think it is, we discount our own stuff because it's our stuff. Nobody wants to hear my sad story. And, and while that's, we're not daring, uh, airing a dirty laundry, it's also a situation where by you being able to, to step through your fear and share it, be courageous enough to share your story because that will touch other people. There's no way for us to, as human beings, we're, we're connected. There's no way for you to share your story, no matter what it is, and not connect to the audience you're talking to. Somebody in that room is, is praying when we get in those dark places, right? When it's rocking our foundation, life's rocking our foundation. What are we doing? We're praying, please, I need, I need help. I need hope. I need a, a plan. I need something. I need a life rope. I need a life raft. I need something, please. And so you sharing your story could be the miracle somebody else has been praying for. Because even if you don't give them the tools they need, the fact that you got through it means they can get through it. And that gives them hope. And, and hope is very powerful when you're trying to, to hold on and you're in those dark places. You really, really, really need that hope. And so I, I challenge you, share your story, however you want. You, you wanna do it on a podcast, you want to do it in a book, you want to do it in an article, you want to share it on Facebook or on social media, just put it out there as a story. Hey, the, you know, this is this is my experience. And I've seen a few of them recently. And I, I it, it touches me because uh, people being courageous to step through their fear. Fear is a is not real. It's a construct in our mind. And we look at the, the foundation, we start to build our, 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 our home, the building we're putting on that foundation, our life, and, and we get afraid. Why? Well, you know what? It's high up and, and I'm, on the, I'm on the scaffolding way up in the air over top of the house, putting the, putting the shingles on. Or it, it, some people are afraid of heights. After 288 <laughs> skydives, I'm not one of those people, but, but we get, there's a different things scare different people, right? So but if that's what scares you, step through that. Danger is real, but fear is a construct of our mind. It's not real. And, and it stops us. The unfortunate part is that it stops us from building our, our home and our life the way we want it because we don't think we can. I'm here to tell you, yes, you can. Absolutely, you can. You have the power to do that. You have, and you are enough to do that. There's nothing that can stop you. If you have a plan to do that, there's nothing that can stop you. And I want to challenge you to, to go and do, okay? Go and do, be courageous, step through, find something today that scares the ever loving snot out of you and do it or plan to do it because you can't change your life today, but you can change the trajectory of your life today, right? You can make a decision today that can head you in a different direction and a little bit of a different direction every day, every day, every day. And you look six months out and you're way over here instead of where you would have been if you'd stayed, right? It, it, it's, it's not change your whole life today. Very difficult to do, but we can change. And we have the power to do that. Papa gave us the power to be able to reinvent ourselves day after day after day, second after second after second. I think a lot of people are afraid to do that. Fear stops them from stepping into their empowerment, stepping into what their purpose is. What's their definite major purpose? Why are they here? Papa's given us all a purpose. There's a reason we're all here. And, and an awareness of that allows us to build our building and our life on top of, of a firm foundation. So 
that's that that's the first little bit that's the construction phase as we build it right we get it all together we want to continue and that's going to continue and continue and continue which is why we want to continue and continue and continue to inspect our foundation because we need to okay so uh we, we got to take a quick break got to pay the bills so uh well, well you're with the, the long bearded guy gordon d melville on inspired choices network i'll see you on the other side How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the Long Bearded Guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Great to see you. Thank you for coming back and staying with me. I appreciate that. Uh, I think uh, anybody ever here, life happens. Uh, so there may be some technical difficulty today. Um, I think that has to do with the weather in the area and whatnot. But you know what? Life goes on. We will continue to do our thing. So if, if there's a little bit of struggle with, with uh, sound or with video, whatever, uh, be patient. Uh, sign out, sign back in, do whatever you have to do, but, but come back. And thank you for your grace with that. And we're, you know what, life happens, right? And we just, we roll with it. Stimulus, pause, respond. Stimulus, pause, the power's in the pause. The power's in the ability to go, you know what? I can lose my mind and, and uh, everybody here can tell you, uh, my family, uh, producers and Christine and everybody can tell you I'm a fairly emotional human being. So, uh, and, and that, that can be a good thing and that can be a not so good thing. But when stimulus happens, we have the power as humans to hold on to that i can hold on to that if i can learn to master control of my mind and my emotion i can hold on to that and stimulus comes right stimulus happens things happen people, situations happen our kids happen things happen and and we respond to pardon me we react to that sometimes we shouldn't we try not to react right so it's it's a once i can pause for a second then i can respond and i take it in stride and I take a deep breath. You know, my, my good buddy Austin talks about pause and breathe, pause and breathe. And, and so sometimes I need to take my own advice on that. But anyway, all right. So on with the, on with the show. The next, the next piece we want to talk about is post-construction. And what does that mean? Well, once the house is built, once the building is there, it's all, it's all there. What happens to the construction site? Right? What happens post-construction? So after everything's built, they do what? They clean the they clean the site. They make sure everything is good. They do landscaping. They they put in a driveway. They make it look aesthetically nice. That that's the next steps of the of the process. They they bring the they fill all the dirt in so it comes right up against the house. So they bury that foundation. They 
put the the grass and, and the sod, they lay the sod and they but they they build it all in and they cover it up, right? That's why we want to inspect. That's why it's important to inspect. Once it's all pretty and looks nice, that's great. Have you ever seen a, I don't know, a piece of fruit and it looks nice on the outside? You go, oh, that's a beautiful apple. And you cut it open and it's the core is just black. It's all rotted out. Ever seen fruit like that? Or a banana and it looks okay on the outside and you cut it open and it's all just rotted inside. The outside of our, of our lives, right? And people will post that on social media. Lots of times we compare ourselves, our worst, because we don't ever compare our best. We compare our worst to everybody else's best. And we go, see, look, I, I'm lacking. I'm not enough. And it bothers us and it hurts us and it causes us stress and anxiety and all these other emotions that don't need to be there. It's not a competition. Again, our journey is for us. And we want to make sure that the inside, which is even more important than the outside, looks the way it's supposed to. And it doesn't just look it, it is. The adage that says, don't judge a book by the cover. We've all seen homes that let look nasty on the outside and you walk into them and they're gorgeous on the inside. They've been completely re renovated on the inside. That, that's, that's, and, and that's great. What you're looking at from the outside is, well, this, this doesn't look so good. You'll hear me talk about presentation not mattering. How people present to me does not matter. Their, their tattooed gender doesn't matter. Race doesn't matter. Homeless doesn't matter. Pierce tatted, all, all, anything that we would normally judge don't matter. The outside, while we want it to be clean and tidy and, and, and be okay that way, if we have the, the ability to do that, by all means. But the outside of our lives, the outside of what people see doesn't matter. That's not the important part. Really, truly. Do they say, well, you never have a second chance to make a first impression? Yep, they do. But I think a lot of times, and I learned this from a mentor many years ago, a lot of times people have a preconceived idea of who you are before you open your mouth just by looking at you. Our, our mind as a human, we're taking a snapshot of, of, of everything we're seeing and, and lots of things we're not seeing right from in every, every minute detail, not just race or color or gender or we're, we're, we, we notice, and it's scientifically, they, it's the weirdest thing. Our brains take snapshots of people. Someone's driving by on a bike, riding on their bike on, on, the, on the way by. And we take a, our brain snaps a shot of what that looked like, what their, what their shoes are, running shoes, dress shoes. Uh, is, there, is their pant tucked into their sock? Do they have a hat on? Do they, are they male, female? Our brain takes a snapshot. What kind of a bike is it? What color is it? We, our brain captures all of that. So last for me, last impression is always more important. Why? Because if, they have a pre, if we have a preconceived idea about who somebody is, then my first impression of them, when they open their mouth and start to interact and talk to me, if they interact with me the way I anticipate it, and, and I'm not an expectation guy, so I'm not in expecting them to respond in any special way, but if they open their mouth and talk the way my brain told me this is who that person is, it's gonna cause a challenge because I'm not going to hear them the same way. I'm not going to be listening the same way. I'm, I'm going to be judging. If I'm leading with judgment and holding on to that piece, instead of leading with love and going, you know what? I don't know what's on the outside. The outside, it, it, it doesn't matter what the outside is. What I'm looking for is to see their heart. I'm looking to find where they're anchored. I'm trying to find out who they are as a human being because that's way, way more important What's on the inside, way more important than what's on the outside. And that lasting impression I leave with people 
and and um, I, I think I can share this. Um, that'll embarrass her a little bit, but but it, it's it's impactful, and it's why I'm here on the Inspired Choices Network. So when I met Christine multi years ago, the first few times I met her, I don't remember. I know she was in Bangkok the first time we talked, which I was like, what the heck? When she was signing on some more platforms, I'm like, wow, that's awesome incredible, incredible lady, um, empowered, gifted, brilliant, incredible lady. The thing is, I don't remember what we talked about while she was in Bangkok. I know we talked about uh, the Inspired Choices Network, and I know we talked about what the programs were about and whatever. In, I, I remember we talked about some of those things, but what, what left me with a lasting impression was how she made me feel. And, and when she would reach out to me, she knows I've been sick and, and I was sick and she didn't reach out to me and go, hey, when, when are you getting on the show? When are you gonna come on and be a host? When are you gonna come on and be a host? That wasn't her focus. She would reach out to me periodically and go, hey, Gord, how you doing? I know, I know you haven't been well. I'm hoping you're, I'm praying you're, you're feeling better. Um, how are you doing? And, and that touched me because it, it was about who I was being and who she was being for me. It wasn't about, you know, trying to, 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 to chase, you know, adding to what was best for her or what would have been good for her. She was, and, and that left me with a lasting feeling that I was like, you know what? I was asked to do, um, I knew I was going to do podcast TV, radio. I was going to do something and I knew I wasn't. And, and I had been uh, talked, uh, other people had mentioned other stations and I'm like, no, I, I'm not going anywhere else. Christine has, has followed me and supported me and encouraged me when I was in my darkest places. She's encouraged me, right? She didn't, we, we, it wasn't to look at what the exterior is. It was look at what the inside is. She was looking at, and caring as a human being. She was being an encouragement to me. And so when we talk about post-construction, it's something that it's not done, it's not over, especially when we're talking about continuing our life because it, it continues to expand. So maybe there's prep we need to do in post-production, post-construction, to make sure that the ground is ready and fertile for whatever else we want to build. Are we going to put trees in? Are we going to put plants in? We want to make sure that the outside is what it looks nice and, and is all there, but we want to focus on what's on the inside and the inside, that's where the weight is. There's brick and siding and roofing and whatever on the outside, but the bulk of the weight on that foundation is coming with what's inside all the floors and the furniture and the people and all the stuff that's there, that's where a lot of the weight is. That's where the important pieces of a home are. The exterior is a house. The interior is a home. The people make the home. The inside is what makes the home. And so looking at, at post-construction as we come to the to the, the end of the beginning, because I don't think the foundation checking it happens all the time. So it's, this is an ongoing thing, making sure we check our foundation and building on that foundation and re-securing re, um, that. And if, it's, if, if you're like me and you, and you bank on Papa, then, then I look and, and I, it, I'm looking to reinforce it in my own mind. I'm not looking at it for cracks and whatnot because Papa doesn't crack. There is no erosion. He is a solid bedrock foundation that never changes. So I challenge you, if you want more, uh, more uh, ideas about that, by all means, uh, hit me up or find someone that can talk to you about those things. Um, that's, it's an important thing. Uh, very, very, very. And it's been pivotal in my life. So um, not telling you what to do, uh, but making a suggestion. All right, so I wanted, I, as we complete this second uh, segment, I want to make just a quick couple shout outs, just real quick. Uh, my good friend and brother, Jose Escobar, who is the, is the founder and CEO of the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf. And uh, so check it out, the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf, to learn more about the morning and evening routine mastery program that is absolutely changing people's lives. This program will help you install systems on bookends of your day to maximize your, move, your morning and evening routine 
set up your free strategy session today with Jose Escobar. And congratulations to him. They just brought home, I think it's his fifth child. Um, a, a very special, wonderful, wonderful thing. Very excited for him and his family. The other shout out I want to do real quick is Kathleen. We call her Kat. She calls herself Kat Schwartz. She's the owner and founder at Compassionate Healing Services. Uh, uh, and I'm wildly ecstatic and very much looking forward to the release of another new podcast she has coming called Trauma Redefined with Kat and Joe. And these two heart-centric folks are friends who share the experience of being complex trauma survivors who will provide a fresh take on how to tackle some of society's most difficult challenges in the mental health space, like suicide prevention, close to my heart, bullying, and so much more. It will air on the Mental Health News Network in the fall of 2022. We'll watch for that. We'll make sure we put links up. We're very excited. Reach out to her at Kathleen at chsyoga.com. And Jose can be reached, sorry, at the entrepreneursbookshelf.com. Thank you so much to them. You're on with the long bearded guy. That's Gordon D. Melville. That's me on Inspired Choices Network. We'll see you on the other side. Don't go anywhere. How much of our success relies on this misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life, no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the Long Bearded Guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, everybody. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for coming back. Appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. All right. So as we as we get into the this third segment, I want to review just a little bit really quick, just sort of bullet pointed really fast. What have we learned in these three uh, in these three segments on foundations? What have we learned? What do we understand? How have we grown? And if you haven't seen the other episodes, go back, watch the other episodes. Uh, we've talked about project conception, design, and the planning at the very beginning of the first one. We talked about building permits. Who gave permits to, and permission to have foundation built in us, right? When, when we were young, that was done by our parents and, and teachers and pastors and other people, adults in our life that set those foundations and built those paradigms in us. When we go to look at it as an adult, we go to inspect our foundation, we have to give permission to that. I can have the best plan. We can have the best plan to, to be able to go forward and move forward. But if you don't give permission for that, it doesn't happen. If, if we don't give permission to intentionally grow, we sit and stagnate because we're not moving forward. Matter of fact, we're probably going backwards because life's going so fast at, at right. If we stop, it's moving past us. We're going backwards. So, so I challenge you, building permit, you have the permit, you have the permission and the authority to make changes. 
and to and to say yes i'm going to do this or no i'm not going to do that i think a lot of times we we do is we 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 want to be a lot of people pleasers where where we want to be liked so we don't want to say no and it's not about whether if we're saying yes to something we're saying no to a lot of other things because now we've tied ourselves up and we don't have time to do the other things if we say no and and not for no reason i can say no and, and that's okay that if that's a decision i've made that's fine i have to be strong enough and and have the courage of my conviction and go no no that that's the decision i've made i'm going to hold by that and so when we when we look at it the permission we're giving ourselves permission to grow we're putting that out there that way. I want to grow. Great. Give yourself the permission to do that. I challenge you to do that. The last week we talked about, and, and it seems like just yesterday, last week was I was setting up this morning. I'm like, wow, you know what? It seems like just like <laughs> it, time moves so fast. In the moment, sometimes we, we look at it and go, whoa, time's just dragging. It's dragging. But when you look back over a little bit, and, and my parents used to tell me, Gord, as you get older, time will go even faster. And I was, that was incomprehensible to me at the time. Cause I'm like, wow, you know what? It's already moving fast. It gets faster. They were right. It gets way faster as you get older. So learn to live in the moment, learn to be in the moment, give yourself the gift of being in the present. It's a gift. Quick thing there. So last week we talked pre-construction phase and procurement. So what do we do to plan right? We're looking at all the plans and talking and getting all the different things we need. Procurement was the stuff that we need to build. All the, the concrete and the rebar and the two by fours and the shingles and all the, the nails and screws and all the things we're going to need, right? All the floorboards and, and all the panels, all the things we're going to need. In our life, what does that look like? Procurement in our life looks like uh, books. It looks like programs. It looks like mentors. It looks like coaches. It looks like uh, signing into something and, and making contact with somebody like Kat or Jose, signing up for a program that, that you know is going to help you better you. Finding the right mentors, procurement. I need specialists, right? I need plumbers and electricians and masons, and I need all these different people. Why? Because that's what their specialty is. Find a mentor and a coach if that's what you need. And I think everybody should have at least one. It, it, Professional athletes have multiple, a nutrition and a, and a physical one for exercise and one for their mental and one for their, their skills and one for their whatever the sport. They have multiple coaches. Why? Because they understand the power of having coaches makes me better. Find a coach. Find somebody that can, that can pour into you and show you where your blind spots are. That's procurement. Specialists, right? And today we talked construction, actually building the building, right? That's wildly exciting to watch. It actually come to fruition and, and what you were thinking in your mind and what you saw on the page actually show up in real life is, is wild and it's so much fun to see. And our life can work that way. The best way to predict the future is to create it, design it yourself, and then execute that. Let me say that again. The best way to predict the future is to design it, create it, and then execute that. We have the power to do that. Whether you believe it or not, you have the power to do that in your own life, right? It's not in anybody else's life. It's not control of somebody else. It's control of our own self, of our own mind, our own emotion, and then executing that. So the crucial, the crucial stages of all these things, right? What have we learned? I, I, want, I want to do a, a quick sort of a call to action i don't want it to sort of be something that we're listening to and then it just goes away because a lot of times when we go and see you can go and see whoever you want all these amazing i've been watching tony and dean um on their their uh, you know time to thrive and and you can't sit in front of those people and not be excited and not get jacked up and all right but a lot of times when we're jacked up and excited if we don't take action right away even in a small way on something that's gonna move us forward in something that's going to actually use the information we've learned, it goes away. In 72 hours, you're back to yourself again, right? It's, it's gone. Those pieces are gone. So we want, I, I wanna do some kind of a call to action for you. 
um, have, if you've been taking notes, I challenge you go back and watch the other two episodes, watch this episode, take notes. And I want to make a quick, uh, ask a quick question. Would it be helpful if I would put a PDF, make a PDF somehow accessible to you that recaps and has spaces for you to fill in? Would that be helpful? Let me know in the comments if that would be helpful or not. Uh, I, I'm happy to do that. I just, I want something, I find something that scares you. Find something you've been putting off in terms of checking your foundation, checking what you believe, why you believe that. Are there cracks? I had written just a really quick thing here about what are the, what are the reasons? Why do we, why do we want to check a foundation? What supports our home? It supports our life. It resists movement. So when the storms of life happen, when big stuff, if your if your foundation is solid, the house isn't going, the building isn't going anywhere. So it resists movement. It insulates the house. It keeps moisture out. We've all had experiences, or we know people have had their their basement flooded. How did that happen? Well, there was a crack. It was damaged. There was erosion. There was problem with it somehow. And it prevents insect infestation. What does that look like? In our life, what does that look like? What's insect infestation in our life? What is that? What does that look like? That's all the little things that, that take over our life. All the little bits and pieces that nag and bug us. All the little things that, that we, we become, sometimes become big things that just natter at us. The, the daily grind of, of, of working it out and making, making uh, that, that happen on a day-to-day -day basis, the things that, that we have, the steps we have to take to get to where we want to go can be sometimes those insects, right? That infestation, those challenges where we go, you know what, where's that coming from? I don't want to deal with that. The, the, uh, and I'm going to challenge you again, because the, the dirt, the challenges we face are the dirt that we need because it holds the nutrients, stimulus, Insect uh, in, infant, infestation, insect infestation it is the same as, as, our, as our basement getting flooded. What is it? it? It's something happening in our life. Good and bad things happen to everybody. It's not about what happens to you. It's about how we respond to that. A lot of people react. Why? Because they're not secure on their foundation. And I go right back to the beginning of, of the first Foundations episode, when we talked about it's coming from our value and our worth. Who do we believe we are? What is my foundational worth? Where do I get that from? Because if I don't have that, I'm going to be challenged. My foundation is not going to be set properly, and then my life isn't going to look the way I wanted it to. And it may not come down today or tomorrow, but at some point, it's going. It's a house of cards if it's not built on a solid foundation. So I, I, I want to challenge you. Put it out there. Rock hard, rock bedrock foundation. I, I'll, I'll put together. Uh, people are saying, "Yep, can we have a PDF?" I'll put something together this week and, and get it out and figure out how to get it to you. Um, but but uh, happy to do that because we want to do something. Find something today that you can do that can move you forward. It may not change your life today, but it can change the trajectory of your life today. Find something that scares you. Go skydiving. Go bungee jumping. Get on. Go horseback riding. Go, go, go call somebody that you haven't talked to in a long time that, you know what, it's now awkward because you haven't reached out to them in a long time. And it's like, oh, man, I, I feel I'm, I'm ashamed that I didn't call them or I, I feel bad that I didn't talk to them. I feel, oh, man, uh, maybe I, uh, man, reach out to them. Step through your fear. It's not real. Reach out to them. And it doesn't matter how they respond back to you. It's not about how they respond. It's you doing the right thing because it's the right thing. It's you stretching. Topics, and we'll talk about forgiveness at some point. It's not for them. It doesn't excuse what they did. It's for you. Not, not forgiving somebody is like drinking poison and expecting them to die. 
and it doesn't work that way. It's hurting you. So, so I just, I want to, I want to challenge you. You know what? Um, I'll put together a PDF, go back. If you haven't watched the other episodes, go back and watch the other episodes. So there's three together foundations, foundations, the sequel. And then this one is foundations end of the beginning, because it's we're, we're, we'll continue to talk about foundations in it'll come up in other topics because it's never, ever gone. Again, I want to just say real quick before we go to break here, uh, shout out to, to Kathleen, the owner and founder of Compassionate Healing Services. Um, again, I'm really looking forward to, to the release of their of her new podcast, their new podcast called Trauma Redefined with Kat and Joe. And I, I know Kat, I don't know Joe yet, but I'm hoping to meet him. These two heart-centric folks are friends who share the experience of being complex trauma survivors who will provide a fresh take on how to tackle some of society's most difficult challenges in the mental health space like suicide prevention, bullying, and so much more. It'll be on air on the Mental Health News Network in the fall of 2022. So we will watch excitedly for that. You can reach out to her at Kathleen at CHS, as in samyoga.com. And then again, my, my good brother, Jose Escobar, is the founder and CEO of the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf. Check out the Connected Leaders Academy uh incredible group of people there it's a membership that takes your business to the next level and it has it's been life altering for me it's been life altering and i know for a lot of people it has this is a perfect tribe to learn grow and connect like never before the cla or connected leaders academy tribe brings some together some of the highest level entrepreneurs from all over the world set up a virtual copy with jose escobar today and you can reach him at www.theentrepreneursbookshelf.com He's an incredible human being. You're on. We got to, again, we got to pay some bills. So we'll see you on the other side. You're on with the long bearded guy. That's Gordon D. Melville. That's me on Inspired Choices Network. Peace. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville, the chief catalyst strategist guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life, no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also send an email to the Long Bearded Guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, everybody. Thank you. Welcome back. Great to see you. Thank you for sticking with me. I appreciate that. You know what? We want to wrap up a little bit here. Just tie a bow on, on uh, the foundations piece. We want to talk about it just real quick. Um, you want to join, join in next week? Stigma on a spectrum is what we're going to talk about next week. We're going to explore what that is, why it's a misnomer, why, why st what's stigma, what is that? It's not that it's a, anyway, we'll talk about that next week. I'm all excited. I'll tell you about it right this minute, but uh, we want, we want to not do that. We'll do that next week. Tune in next time uh, to find out what that's about. I do uh, want to touch just real quick on coaching. So I do uh, through Jewel International is the name of my company. Jewel is an acronym for Jandon, which is just my company name with my wife, uh, J-A-N from her name, which is Janessa, and the D-O-N from Gordon, that's Jandon. But empowerment with intention, life, and then coaching. So I, I do that globally uh i specialize obviously my heart is for entrepreneurial men but i'll talk to anybody i'm looking to put uh, a group together i have a, a group coaching program called boxed inside out it's about it's not outside the box thinking it's eradicate the box it's just take the box away find positive ways to deal with stress and anxiety and depression on a, on a regular daily the emotions we all feel every day so that it doesn't end up on the other end of that spectrum which is deep depression and suicide and and all the other mental awareness challenges that we have. So we're going to explore that. Um, but uh, through the through that workshop, 
it'll come up. Uh, I'm trying to lock down the date, but it'll be mid September, um, two thirds of the way through September ish. I also do one on one coaching. I do keynote speaking. If you want me to talk to your group or to your church or to your whatever it is, reach out to me. You can reach me at the long bearded guy at gmail.com is the easiest way to get a hold of me and 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 send that out. I'd be happy, happy to talk. The, the mission is to have meaningful connection in a meaningful, meaningful way with more than 10 million men globally in the next 24 months. And that's going to happen through organizations and networks by putting my fingers in lots of different, different uh, places and spaces. And, and that's where my heart is. That's that mission. And, and a lot of people look at me and go, Gord, 10 million men is a lot of men. It's a lot of people. But I hear Papa in the back of my head telling me there's eight and a half, eight, eight, more than eight billion people on the planet. Conceivably, half of them are men. That's more than four billion men. Ten million is the jump off point. It's not the target. So that encourages me. Hey, uh, I, and, and who am I? Right. I look at it and go, who am I to have that kind of an impact? Papa's having that kind of an impact. Uh, you're, you're getting Gordon D. Melville flavored Papa. And so that's, that's how that's working. If you want to join me on that mission, reach out again, um, the long bearded guy at gmail.com. And, and there's, there, there are sponsorship opportunities available. There's ways to, to partner sponsorship, partnership uh, spaces that are there. But, but, and if you want me to talk, please reach out. If there's something that resonates with you as you listen to these things and you go, you know what? I have people that I know need to hear this. Invite them to show up on the show invite them send them the link we put it out all over the place it's on inspired choices network all of mine are, are there uh, all the episodes and i can't believe this is already the fourth episode uh unbelievable uh, you know you look at 52 and you go wow that's a lot of episodes i'm already four into uh, that that 52 so there's still lots to, to do and i'm so excited to, to be here and to do it and to share if some of this is resonating with you please reach out let me know. Send me an email that says, hey, Gord, thank you so much for, for whatever it is. Tell me how it's impacting you. Because that's, that's what feeds my soul. That's why I do what I do. It's, it's helping people get to where, where it's already inside them. The information's already inside them. A good coach is just leading you through your own mind to get to where those answers are. So you can discover them inside you. That's what we're trying to do. We want to have, I want to have that kind of meaningful connection. The goal is to stop depression. The goal is to stop suicide. Why are so many people giving their souls back to Papa? How come? Why are people trying to do that? I can't speak for everybody. I know what it was for me. And, and, and it's, I want to be able to, I think a lot of times it's our foundation. It's what we believe we are, who we believe, what our value is, what our worth is, is not where it should be. And mine wasn't where it should have been. I, I thought it was, and it, and it wasn't. And so reaching out and, and giving people tools. I, I can't go into a gunfight with, without all the bullets preloaded. They already have to be preloaded. I need the tools in my toolbox. I, I, I want to give people the tools. I want to give them the strategies. I want to help entrepreneurial men because that's what I am but everybody needs that. So I want them to understand. I want them to have the tools or at least access to the tools they need. That's what my heart is. And, and I hope you feel my heart. I hope you, you understand it's, it's about getting the message out. And anybody that can help me get that message out faster or more effectively, if you know celebrities or people that have huge uh, influences and, and spheres of influence that can, that can influence people, please, 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 uh, connect with me. Uh, I, I, I beg you, uh, this, this, it, we're, we will hit, I know Papa will, will make this sure that provides. Uh, and I'm so sorry to hear that Gabby. Uh, so show up, uh, please, please join me next week. Thank you for being here today. Stigma on a spectrum. We're going to explore what it is and why it's a misnomer. That's Friday, August 12th at 12 noon, Eastern standard time, Eastern, Eastern time right here on the Inspired Choices Network. You'll be back with the long bearded guy. That's Gordon D. Melville. Make it another great week. I love you. Hugs. Live abundantly. 
Thank you for tuning in to the Long Bearded Guy Show. You are appreciated and loved. Gordon D. Melville returns Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on the InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, make it another great week, leading with love, powerfully designing, crafting, and living out your positively impactful legacy life you were created for. Big hugs.